Hey guys, Don Russo here at Freeway Music, and today we're going to be covering a really popular song called Don't Start Now. It's by Dua Lipa, and what I'm going to do is show you guys the chords of the song, the bass line, uh, and even the melody. So we're going to have a little fun with this today. So I'm going to skip over the very first part of the song, but just so you know, the first part of the song, uh, well, I'll just go talk about the chords first. The very first part of the song is going to go from B minor to D. Then it goes D to E minor, and then D over F sharp to G. But I'll cover that when I get over to the guitar, because I want to start off with this bass line, which is so sick. So we're going to talk about the bass line first. So it starts off with E minor. So what I'm doing there is I'm going E to my octave of E, and back to E to the octave of E. Now you can play it with your fingers, like, or you can do like, uh, you can use your thumb, like, or even your thumb and your index. And then you're gonna walk up to the B right here, which is gonna be a B minor chord. If you're playing a rhythm instrument, you're gonna go A, A sharp, B, like this. And then when you get to the B, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna, you're gonna go root, octave, root, octave. And if you don't know where your octaves are, make sure and check out a video on that. So it goes. Then I'm gonna walk up to the D next. I'm gonna go B, C sharp, I'm sorry, to the G next, E, F sharp, G. That's the next chord, E, F sharp, G. So, so I got E, B, G. Now I'm gonna walk up to the D. I'm gonna go B, C sharp, D. So I got They're right there. I'm just gonna go D octave back to my D. Then I'm gonna go to A. I'm gonna go two strums on the A, then octave and octave. Or you can do it with your fingers, however you want to do it. So the bass line looks like this. Cool, great bass line. And then during the other section, it's just. part of the end of the song where it's just riffing on those chords in the beginning of the song. It's just like, uh, or those chords right there I was just doing, it's just B minor. D. So you got B minor, then D, then E minor up to a, a G chord, essentially G major 7 is the chord they're playing really. Okay, so that, that's pretty much it for the bass part of the song. It's pretty simple. Um, there, there's, there's some more intricate parts you can get into, but that's the gist of the bass part. And then on the guitar, over on the guitar, we've got some basic chords happening here. Um, so the beginning of the song is B minor, then D, then it goes D to E minor real quick, and then D over F sharp, which if you don't know this chord, D over F sharp means you're going to play a D chord with an F sharp in the bass. So I'm gonna be playing this D chord here with an F sharp in the bass. So it's just an inversion of a D chord. So we're gonna go B minor, D, D to E minor, and then D over F sharp to G major seven. Right here that I'm playing, the inversion I'm playing is root five, seven, three, or G, D, F sharp, B, or if you will, 10, 12, 11, 12. So. Cool, and then I could use open chords. I could go B minor to D, then D, E minor, and then watch this, D over F sharp. This is not orthodox for you classical peeps out there, but I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna be doing a D chord with an F sharp bass note to G like that. And if you wanna do a major seven, like a, you can do a major seven like this. Basically, I'm playing a D, I'm playing a G, D, G, D, and then F sharp on the top. Or you can open it up like that with an open B. I really don't like that 
as much as the bar chord version, personally. And then the for the other part of the song, it's just E minor, B minor, then G, then D, A, E minor. This part's actually pretty do, pretty easy to do open. This is the part where she's like. melody that she's doing it's basically just E minor B minor then G D, A, D minor, B minor D, A, D minor. or you can do this trying to sing and play the song with just chords E minor B minor G D A is the verse and the chorus is B minor D A E minor and then walk up to a G so that's a D over F sharp G and all I'm doing there is playing a D with an F sharp with my thumb just like that now so what I've done is I've actually taken a liberty to loop the bass line and the for the chords in the verse, so I can show you uh, what I'm going to do is show you guys the couple of the melodies. So, in the very beginning of the song, it starts quoting the chorus melody, which is like this. So, that melody right there is just all on a B minor scale. So, if you don't know your B minor scales, make sure you check out a video and learn those as well. So, I'm just basically playing right here in this. Position, the seventh position of the B minor, the seventh position of my guitar, I'm playing a B minor scale or pentatonic as well. It, it does some pentatonic stuff as well, um, but it's all inside that natural B minor scale. So here we go. I'm going like nine, seven, so this is B, B, up here to a uh, tenth fret of the B string, which is an A note. So. Then I'm going to go down here to the seventh fret of the G string, which is a D note. So I got. Then I go up to an E, which is the ninth fret. Then I'm going to eighth fret of the B string, which is a G note, down to an F sharp note on the seventh fret. So this is an A to the octave of that A. That's G F sharp again. that melody that's over this part. And then the first part of the melody starts in, on the on the tenth fret of the B string. So that's all pentatonic. Literally all of that pentatonic. So ten, seven, nine, seven, seven, nine, seven. second time so it's like That's all basically in B minor as well. And whatever that melody is there, it's basically, let's listen to it together. There you go, so you got it. Seven, 
That's all right in that pentatonic and diatonic minor scale. So if you learn that scale, super easy to play this melody. Here you go, so you got. Then it goes. From there, it just slides up, or right here, B on the high string, back to this melody. Pretty much it, guys. Other than that, if you want to just jam over it and have some fun, you can as well. You know, just use that pentatonic. You can just use that pentatonic scale or that diatonic scale right there, and just jam over it and have a good time. So hopefully, this gives you a good understanding of this song. This song's in the key of B minor. We're gonna be using a B minor to a D, which is a six to a one chord. E minor, which is our two to our G chord right here which is going to be the four chord in the key of D, but in B minor, it would obviously be one, three, four, and then right here to your six in B minor. But if you don't understand that, make sure you check out a video on chords and keys and how they work together as well. And in that other section, it's just E minor, B minor, G, D, which is going to be in the key of B minor would be four, one, six, three. But in the key of D, of course, that would be two, six, four, one. And if you don't understand that, Make sure you check out a video on that. I hope this help gives you guys a good understanding of this really popular song, Don't Start Now. Go have fun with it. Go loop the bass line, go loop the chords, jam on it, play the melody, um, and just have a good, good time with it. All right, see you guys next time.